Yeah. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. So, babe. Hey, what's up, guys? We out here in a new location somewhere. Beautiful. Not a lot of disturbance. And we got the one and only Kathleen. Hi, guys. How you doing today, Kathleen? Good. That's great to hear. You want to give an update to our um, family? I'm still in the recovery house. I just did, got done a job interview at Wawa. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, I'm making meetings daily. <laughs> so, you went and applied for a job today, and by the, by God's grace, you're gonna have that job because you have okay. people who who's behind the scene that's let's go, on, you know, make that happen for you. Yeah. So Friday is the big day. They they're calling people back. So right. Let's pray for our girl Kathleen to get called. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes. So how has life been for you since the last update? Um, it gets better and better every day, I guess, you know. It's better and better. How many months off drugs are you now? Six. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You notice any change in yourself from then to now? I guess a lot. I mean, I wasn't really living then. I was just existing. I live now. You know, I live every day. Um, I'm building a relationship back up with my sisters and my daughter. That's great to hear. Sure, she missed you a whole lot and she don't want you to leave once you go back in her life again. No, no. I might be able to go see her for Halloween, my sister said. So. A God's grace, right? Yeah. What do you want to say to all? Before we go any further, you know there's a lot of people who just tune in. A lot of people haven't gone back into my catalog to, to see your previous interview. Give those who don't know who you are a quick backstory on, on you. Uh, my name is Kathleen. Um, I was in Kensington for a couple years, getting high. Um, I've been clean for six months. I went to rehab. I was also clean last year for six months but um you know i'm just a recovering addict i guess you know rebuilding my life i moved out of the city i don't like the city no more such location because that spot doesn't the light it's not hitting me too well okay okay let's get back to what you said uh-huh you was in kensington for a couple years a couple years yeah, yeah. What was your experience like out in Kensington? Horrible, horrible. It's horrible down there. I feel bad for the people stuck out there still. You know, it's possible. Anybody can get it if they want to get out, you know. Um, it's hard. Like, you go to rehab. They put you in a recovery house, give you, like, a two-week scholarship, and then you start paying rent. But you can also get funded. Like, I was funded and sit in the Philly, I, but I didn't want to go where they wanted me to go. They wanted me to go, like, right by Kensington, so I chose to go to a house that I pay at. Um, I can now get county funding up here, I think, because now I'm from up here. But um, my house doesn't do it, so whatever. Um, you know, I don't know, it's possible. I mean, anybody can get out of there, you know, they just have to want it. For those who are thinking about going to Kensington, what are the do's and the don'ts about that area? Just do not go. <laughs> do not go. I, I advise, don't. I mean, don't go. It's, it's, it's sad. Like, it's very sad. Um, very, very sad. Before I had my daughter, I was in an active addiction, and it's nothing like it was back 12 years ago. It's tenfold worse. Like, no, I would advise just don't go. Avoid the area. Hey, you hearing that firsthand from somebody who's been out there? Yeah, avoid it. It's sad. It's, it's sad. It's sad down there. It's, you know, depressing. Um, like I said before, my worst day is better than my best day getting high. My worst day sober is better than my greatest day getting high. <laughs> like, you know. Right. What is your favorite thing about being off drugs? I can laugh again. I laugh. Like, genuinely laugh. Like, you know. Um, so, yeah, I guess that would be it. I laugh now. Now that you got clarity, when you look at the world, what change do you want to see in the world? 
I guess for people to be more understanding and humble, you know what I mean? Like, um, I remember being in the streets and people just like looking, like not even knowing me, but the way they would look at me and treat me just because I was an addict, like not knowing nothing about me, what kind of person I am, like, you know, um, people just need to be more kind. Yeah, they need to be more kind. Treat others as you want to be treated. <laughs> Regardless of the situation, like. Absolutely. You're 100% right. Mm -hmm. So what's the hardest thing about being off drugs for you? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, I guess just like learning to like be a normal, productive member of society, like maintain a job. You know, I have to maintain a job. I have to pay bills. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, like it's not even my worst day sober is better than getting high, any day getting high. So. You know, um, that's, yeah. Right, right. You know, me and you had this conversation before, and I always say that you, are you sure you're not going to return back to the black hole of Kensington? No, 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 I don't want to. In Jesus' I mean, name, in, right? In Jesus' name. Never say never, but no. Uh, I know how to be clean. I was clean before. Yeah, okay. let's. let's train. been clean before I've had six years and eight months sobriety before before I relapsed um, you know I don't really I was clean for like six months last year but I don't really count that so prior to that I was clean for six years eight months like I know you know there's a better life out there you know what I mean like it's bad it's bad down there like you're just existing and doing whatever you have to do to get the next one it's not fun right right you know so how is your sober living experience, like, what are the good and the bad about I mean, well, I guess it's good you build relations with these ladies in the recovery house, but it's hard because we have, like, 14 different personalities, you know. I'm thankful I got a two-man bedroom, but we have six-men bedroom, which is terrible. I don't, I'm actually the only one in a two-man bedroom. I'm in the only two-man bedroom, but, you know, I guess just, like, um, learning to coexist with all these different personalities, you know. Um, I don't have to like you, it just has to be cordial. You know, but I, I built, I built um, a couple good friendships, you know what I mean? Good friendships. Like, my my, um, my roommate from rehab is here. She's a very good friend of mine. Um, my roommate is amazing. Uh, and there's a couple good, like, you know, girls in the house, like, I generally like. And, like, I would hang out with the SI the recovery house. That's great. So what's mm -hmm. your short-term goals now? Um, well, I hope I land this job. Um... You know, just I guess maintain it. Like I, I, I want to move eventually, but I want to be working at least six months before I even attempt to move. Um, you know, and then just eventually get my own spot. I don't think I ever want to go back to the city again, though. Right. Even though my daughter, she's in the city. She's in a very nice part of the city by the suburbs. I don't want to live there no more. How are you maintaining your recovery? Um, well, we do two house meetings a week, and then we have to do SI meetings five days a week. So I make meetings, um, I go to my, I talk to a psychiatrist via Zoom, um, and I make my doctor's appointments, I guess, you know. That's great. Yeah. And we talked about also doing something for the women that's in your house, starting this little, you know, this little project where we interview them and let them yeah. know they're not alone and you're going to be in charge in charge of that because I'm sure these women that's living in these places with you they, they feel alone sometimes right yeah absolutely absolutely we have a lot of old people there <laughs> I mean a lot of old people but yeah they need they matter too everybody Abs everybody matter. does everybody does everybody can, matters can you please share some some motivation to our brothers and sisters who are watching this video and who are struggling can you share some motivation with, with i mean listen nobody was worse in kensington than me that i mean if you go down there now people still everybody knows me you know uh, nobody smoked more crack than i did and you know i'm not proud to say but if i can change anybody can change you know what i mean um, i i mean I've, I've met people that literally thought like i was gonna live and die down there and i would never get out of there you know um for a period i didn't think i would ever get out of there but you know it's possible, like, go to the crisis center, go to the PAL center on, Al on Allegheny Ave, and get into rehab, and you, you know, it's getting cold, it's hard in the winter time down there. You know what I mean, it's not the same, um, it's dangerous, like, you can do it though, if I can do it, you can do it. 
for, for by sure, you know what I mean? Right, for sure. Right. If I can do it, you can do it. That's great news, guys. Yeah. You, you heard it from Kathleen. You guys been on a journey with her, and we want to yeah. tell everyone thank you for believing in her, and we want to tell her thank you for believing in herself. So how much do you pay every month for your rent? Uh, I pay 165 a week, which comes out to like 660 a month. I have 660 a month, yeah. Right. Um, and, you know, but this recovery house, like I was in a recovery house in Philly last time, um, right by Kensington. They provided food and stuff, but here it doesn't. You provide your own food, your own toiletries, your own toilet paper, everything, and then you pay 165 a week. You yeah, know? Right. So, guys, you know, I'm going to put Kat, Kathleen Cash App on the screen. Also, going to put her Venmo on the screen. And all her, you know, information that way we can continue to help yeah. her because she still need us pushing her because she got a long way to go but we are proud yeah. of how far she have come so far shout out to mary packer i love mary uh, and christina Paulus. they're very and deb mccall pull out some of your jewelry let's see uh let's i have a couple with it. me um yeah kathleen is going to give me some more bracelets for me to take to kensington yeah Thanks but i have a couple for you to take now but yes so talk about your bracelet and how do people order it from you? I don't know. They can Facebook me, email me. Here goes a couple. I have more, but take here okay. goes some just so you can see them. Right. Um, you know, you can pick out your own colors, whatever you want. See? Yeah, we gotta get a website for you one day where, you know, it'll be easy for people to just click yep. and buy, you know? Yep. So that's great, Kathleen. You're doing a wonderful thing. Mm, yeah. Thank you. It was a lady who purchased how many bracelets from you? Ten. Ten for you. I have ten for you to give out. Um, right. I mean, I would have to look. I, I'm pretty sure it was Rose. Yeah, Rose. <laughs> yeah, Rose. Thank you it for the, Rose, the bracelet. Yeah. The last time yeah. I, I saw her, we forgot about the bracelet. Right, but I have them today to give to you. Yeah, so. she got something to give to me today. And, you know, I'll pick up the rest from her this coming next week. I'll get some more stuff from her. But that's great. And you can see Kathleen is wearing our AML family member. Yes. There is no tough in love. Only love is in love. So if you want to order this shirt, we really appreciate your support. You know, that's helped to go back to the, the struggle. Yes, the unisex shirt. This is a medium. So. Right, right. So what you got plans for the rest of your day, Kathleen? Um, I don't know. Go back to the recovery house. Um, I wash to do. And then... What's today? When? Oh, I have to make a meeting. What's Wednesday? I have to write an essay. We have to write essays every week at this recovery out. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, Kathleen, thank you so much for this lovely update. It's a really positive one. And we are all happy that you're on the right path to, you know, building a better life for you and your daughter. And we'll continue to be here with you on this journey. We're not leaving you. All right? Thank We're in you. this together. You have any last words you want to say to all your supporters out um, there? Just thank you, everybody. I love the AML family. You know, you've helped me tremendously. I don't think I would be where I'm at today without you, you know. Um, it was easy to get into rehab. The hard part is after you go to rehab, and you have helped me so much. Awesome. Okay, guys, you heard it from the lady herself. We'll pray that she get that job. She already got it already. You know, Hopefully. So Hopefully. She'll be on the clock pretty soon. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, she got it. Yeah. So, guys, that's it for us from now. For now, I mean, and we'll continue to follow our girl. So, remember, guys, don't be bitter. Be better. Be better. Until next time, AML Films, we out there. Peace out.